Hello there, welcome to the tutorial video on using the Philogix PBR Painter add-on. In this video, we will cover everything you need to know to make the most of this powerful tool and streamline your texture creation process. We will start with the basics of the layer system, including how to create, rename, reorder, and delete layers. Then we will delve deeper into the different types of layers and how to use them to create complex, multi-layered textures. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding of the layer system in Philogix PBR Painter and be able to create beautiful textures with ease. Regarding the layer system in Philogix PBR Painter, the layer system is an important part of Philogix PBR Painter used to create materials for 3D models. Layers are used to organize the components of a material into separate layers, making it easy for users to edit and control individual components without affecting other components. The layer system is controlled in the Painter Layer Panel. At the top of the Painter Layer Panel will be the Material Layers Panel. In Philogix PBR Painter, each material is composed of multiple material layers, with the layer on top being displayed and obscuring the layer below. The display areas of a material layer are controlled by the layer mask. The top bar of the material layer panel will be the buttons to create, move, or delete layers. To the right of this panel is the view mode option. View mode allows us to switch between the display modes of the material we are working on. We can display the material, its individual channels, or display the bake maps of the object we are working on. Below this are the material slots. In the material slots, some information and options will be displayed, such as the layer type, options to show or hide the material layer, the material name, and to the far right are options to color code the layer. The next panel is the display of the adjustments of the selected material layer in the above panel. At the top here is the channel selection bar for editing. When a channel is selected, the panels below will display the editing options for that channel. The number of channels here will be set in the channel setting button at the top right of the painter layer panel. Here we can add or remove channels from our workflow. Next in the channel panel will be the channel options including set anchor point. This option adds the current channel to the list of anchor points that I will discuss in the next section. Channel name. The blending mode will determine the blending mode of the current channel with the channels of the material layer below, and the opacity of the current channel controls the display intensity with channels. The channel layer below the channel will be a channel layer table. Hat displays a list of layers that make up the selected channel above. Similar to the material layer, the channel layer table also has a control bar to add, delete, and move layers. The layers on top will be stacked on top of the layers below. The channel layer will have five different types, including surface, image, anchor, id, and filter. Details about these layers will be discussed later. In the channel layer slot, there are also options such as layer type, display options, and layer name. On the right side, there are two additional options, the clipping layer and the blending mode. The clipping button will turn that layer into a child layer of the layer below, in which case the child layer only affects the parent layer. A layer can have many child layers. The blending mode option will determine how the above layer blends with the layer below. The next table is a display of the settings for the selected layer above, which consists of two subtables, the UV settings table and the parameter settings table for the layer. Regarding the UV settings table, it will display the settings of the current layer. At the top is the option of using UVs, which determines whether the layer's UV is its own or the common UV of the entire material layer. If private UV is selected, the settings will only affect the layer's UV and not affect the common UV of the material layer. Conversely, if general UV is selected, the UV settings will change the common UV of the material layer and thus other channel layers that use general UV will also have their UV changed. Below are UV settings such as projection and parameters to change the location, rotation, and scale of UV. Next is the parameter settings table for the current layer. Here, all the parameter settings for the layer will be displayed, and these settings will change depending on the type of layer being selected, which I will explain in detail later. Next, we will learn about the different types of material layers in Philogix PBR Painter. For material layers, there are two types. 
Smart Material Layers and Custom Material Layers Custom material layers allow users to customize all channels of the material layer. Users can add, delete, and arrange channels in the channel layer table, and the display area will be controlled by layer masks. A smart material layer is a layer of material that defines channels through a node system, designed to quickly apply pre-customized materials to 3D models and adjust parameters to achieve desired effects. Therefore, we cannot add layers to the channels of the smart material layer, but only adjust parameters such as the layer's node and opacity. The display area of the smart material layer is also controlled by a layer mask, so we can add and delete channel layers in the layer mask of the smart material layer. Regarding the settings of the smart material layer, there are two parts, UV settings and parameter settings. The UV settings control the input vector UV parameters of the layer like other layers. Under the parameter settings, there are functions and options such as the Open in Editor button, which allows us to open the smart material layer in the shader editor for editing. Here, we can edit the nodes of the layer to modify the settings of the smart material. Next is the preview section of the smart material, followed by the control panel. On the left side of the control panel is the button to select the smart material for the smart material layer. Then comes the part to set the name for the smart material. On the right side are features that allow you to export, import, or place the current smart material into the smart material library. The table below is the customization panel for the smart material layer, where these settings are designed to help users quickly adjust parameters to change the characteristics of the material layer. I will address how to change these settings or add a new smart material in a separate video. In the next videos, I will also provide instructions on how to use different channel layers. That's the guide on using the layer system and material layers of Philogix PBR Painter. Good luck and see you in the next videos.